Minoxidil is one of only two treatments clinically proven to prevent and reverse hair loss and can be used successfully in both men and women. Here I'd like to cover what minoxidil is and how it works, and how it can be compared to other hair loss products. Minoxidil comes as a liquid or a cream. It's applied to the scalp once or twice a day and it's what's known as a vasodilator. So it works by increasing the blood flow to the areas where it's applied. There are many other vasodilators out there, but minoxidil is the only one that's been found to prevent hair loss and increase hair growth. Following a large-scale clinical study by a US pharmaceutical company, minoxidil is one of only two treatments licensed for the prevention of hair loss in both the UK and USA. Minoxidil is licensed in the UK by the MHRA and in the US it's FDA approved. The MHRA and FDA are government medical regulatory bodies and will only license a product if it shows enough evidence that it is effective to its cause whilst being safe. So unlike any supplemental hair loss product, you can rest assured that minoxidil definitely works. The clinical trials for minoxidil were highly successful. 65% of men maintained or increased their hair count and two out of three women regrew hair. There are many advertised treatments that claim to regrow hair, however only two products are clinically proven. The only other is Propecia, which is only available to treat men. Unless it's been licensed by the MHRA or approved by the FDA, there is no way of knowing if any product actually works. Many make exaggerated claims about hair growth they're not authorised to make, so it is easy to be misled. More information and reviews on most of the licensed and unlicensed products can be found by searching the Belgravia Centre website and blog. The Belgravia Centre produces minoxidil in a 4 or 5% solution and also produces an extra strength minoxidil 12.5% cream. Booster products are also added that may help to block dihydrotestosterone or DHT, the fundamental cause of the most common form of hair loss, androgenetic alopecia, also known as genetic hair loss. So what about side effects? After any clinical study, side effects have to be recorded and acknowledged. For minoxidil, mild facial hair growth, headaches, rashes and palpitations were recorded for a very small percentage of people. All recorded side effects either diminished after a short time of use or shortly after use is stopped treatment. Minoxidil can be effective when used alone, but experience shows after treating thousands of hair loss sufferers, there are ways of vastly improving its effects. As I've already mentioned, the Belgravia Centre combines minoxidil with DHT blockers, which, although not licensed for hair loss prevention, might help to reduce DHT, ensuring the extra blood being delivered to the follicles is more hair-friendly. Men can combine minoxidil with Propecia. This powerful combination forms the most effective treatment basis for hair loss available today. Another treatment available for both men and women is the Hairmax laser comb. The laser comb is also the only device to have been FDA cleared for hair loss prevention. So how do supplements work with this? Well, although there's no firm evidence proving they can individually help to prevent hair loss, Belgravia specialists have found it's often useful to use one alongside proven treatments to maximise results. Hair Vitalix is just one example of a supplement that contains numerous ingredients to help maintain and improve the overall condition of the hair and aims to give any growth that extra push. On belgraviacenter.com you can find the world's largest online collection of before and after photos of hair loss treatment users all of whom use the Belgravia Centre's combination treatment courses. The pictures are untouched and we think you'll be amazed at the results so many people achieve in a fairly short space of time from treatment programmes available to anybody around the world. You'll also find hundreds of success stories featuring comments from happy treatment users as well as their photos. 
And there's lots more useful information videos just like this one and client video diaries which can be found right here or on the website. BelgraviaCenter.com is one of the world's leading online resources for information on hair loss. The site features detailed reports of most of the treatments and products available for hair loss, as well as a wealth of information of exactly what can be done. Just use the search box to find whatever you're looking for, and we're sure you'll find it. But if not, just ask. If you're losing your hair, there's no need to be worried. As long as you seek the right advice and catch it as early as possible, it's most likely that it can be stopped. So I was a guy with a lot of confidence, you know, back in the teenage days. So, um, and when it started to come to adulthood, so when I just turned 18, uh, starting university, I did realize, um, you know, when you did, as every teenager does, when you gel up your hair, um, you realize loads of, you know, hair on your hands, you know, after shampooing or washing your hair, you realize a lot of hair did fall. It lowers your self-esteem enormously because when you've had what you call a nice head of hair at one point in your life and you suddenly find when you blow dry it you have to arrange each hair in a position to make sure that it still looks full. So I got on the internet, I looked at all the various opportunities, various companies and um, I read through and the Belgravia sounded really the most pro professional to me. Someone actually with their hair loss should um, get help as soon as possible, as soon as they realise it. The earlier the condition is treated the better. My customers uh, they all know that I was having the treatment. I wasn't coy about it. I said, oh, my hair's falling out. And, um, and I was telling them, they're coming in saying, well, your hair looks brilliant. You know, it's really looking good. My goodness, isn't it thick? So I said, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, so it's been good for me. It takes about three months to six months in general to see a noticeable change. You know, something that you can see in the mirror, really on average about three to six months. I wasn't too 100% convinced that it would help, but you know, as you can see now, you know, it, it, it helped. So clearly, um, you know, the treatment, yeah, it did help. And coming here, yeah, it, it, was, one, yeah, it was a great decision.